Hey y'all, Mike Webb here, gonna tell you a little bit about the white pine blister rust. The white pine blister rust was introduced from Asia in the early 1900s and it causes swollen cankers that eventually girdle the entire branches or stems resulting in tree death. White pine blister rust is the most important disease of eastern white pine in the United States. The disease is most severe in seedlings and saplings, but mature trees are also susceptible to it. The white pine blister rust fungus requires an alternate host to complete its life cycle. The hosts are all five needle pines, but in North Carolina, eastern white pine is the only native susceptible pine species. Some of the symptoms for this are small yellow or red needle spots that usually are present on the needles at the point of the infection, but are difficult to see. Rough diamond-shaped cankers develop a few years after the infection. Cankers may be found on the branches or main stem. The first symptoms observed are usually individual flagging branches killed by the cankers. Girdling cankers will eventually kill the branch or, if on the stem, the entire tree. Infection in seedlings or small trees usually result in death because the fungus can easily travel the distance from the needle to the main stem. Infections in mature trees may only result in dead or dying tree tops or large branches. The bottom of the tree occasionally survives this infection. The disease cycle has five different types of spores that require three to six years to fully complete its life cycle. Within a few weeks of the infection, a small yellow or red spot will appear on the needle at the point which the fungus entered the plant. Unless the tree responds to attack by shedding of the infected needles, the fungus will then grow out of the needle into the twig or branch within one year of the infection. This disease is a high important disease and it's wiped out most of the mature white pines in the U.S., especially during the early to mid 20th century. Resistant white pine seedlings are available but eradication of white pine blister is not effective and is no longer practiced. If you avoid regenerating pines in small openings more prone to dew and condensation on the needles, then you may have a chance of avoiding this disease a little more. The timeline for the white pine blister rust occurs in late summer to early fall. Cankers, although, can be seen year-round but produce yellow-orange ACO spores in the spring. The range here in North Carolina is the mountain range. Within the natural range of the white pine where cool and wet conditions are usually prevalent during the fall. So that's the white pine blister rust.